Okay, so next let's create a pop-up form. As always, we start with a default design. This one comes white for a change, right? And by default, we have put here this uh, progress bar, which you can as always change or hide. Maybe this time we will hide it. Um, yeah, you can also like put here some name as you like. Let's say my pop-up, right? And this is already white. So maybe, I don't know, I will try something, but I cannot guarantee it's working, like looking good. How is that? Well, not perfect, but okay-ish maybe. Um, what else? Yeah, the website default font, as you have it on your site. Um, and we could, I don't know, how does that look? Well, it's a different style, let's, let's try it. Um, and let's put first name this time. This time let's put first name as placeholder and label. Um, and let's put last name again as placeholder and label. Let's make this one required. Uh, what else? Yeah, my most favorite happy subscribers is here. Uh, this time it's here by default. And we could actually hide it if we don't like this. Um, yeah, now the button. We could also make it medium size if you prefer that. Um, and now for the color. I don't know what fits here. Uh, let's try how it's red. Yeah, that is not too bad, right? Um, okay. The text, of course, can be changed. Let's assume you want to like remove that, make it shorter. Um, the font weight, uh, let's make it big, okay. We can even change the text alignment here, as you see. But I mean, I guess <laughs> centered makes the most sense. Um, okay, and um, yeah, I don't know what to write here. Uh, join us now. Yeah, maybe just making it a bit stronger and the size a bit bigger. You will also see for the pop-up, the format is slightly different. And now we can have this as a preview. You see that's the example of how it could appear on your website. So after a few seconds, it, it like comes in. I think that has a nice effect. And of course, it might be too aggressive. That's totally up to you if you like that or not. And that's why we have different forms, right? Okay, but I guess you get the idea. Um, you can style it as you like. And yeah, that's the pop-up. So let's save it. And um, yeah, now that we actually created a form of each type, uh, next we will go to edit form text. You can do it right from here. Or you can also do it on the form overview. Uh, on top there is a button for the same thing. We can adjust um, the text that appear in the flow of the subscription. And we will see this next. Okay, thanks.